Well, good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. I'm out on another winter sunrise hike here along the front range of the Boulder foothills. Uh, I've got my 5DSR set up, focused in on this stretch of small trees with the flat irons behind it, dusted with a little bit of snow. Um, so I think it's a pretty nice scene. Uh, the sun is just starting to come up, so I'm waiting for a little more of that early morning glow on the mountain peaks. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is set up my composition so that I've got the mountain range furthest to the left over this direction with a few small trees, the cows grazing in the center, and then the more prominent flat irons off to the right with this smaller bunch of three trees. And I'm getting a lot of space that I'm not particularly interested in here in the foreground and in the sky, so I'll most likely crop this to a uh, either 16 by 9 or 65 by 24 panorama crop. So I'm going to make sure my exposure is set, I'm not clipping any highlights. Okay, and we're getting some really nice light on the mountain peaks right now. It's just getting some of that early morning indirect glowing light from the clouds and sky overhead. So I think this looks pretty good. Tripod's level. Just zoom in, make sure I'm nice and sharp midway through the scene. About there. Perfect. So calm wind, beautiful light, perfect morning for some winter landscape photography. Well, we're just starting to get a little bit more diffuse but brighter light, so I'm going to focus in on some of the more interesting parts of this view, which to me is this bunch of trees over here and the flat irons and cows grazing. So I'm going to set this one up and zoom in on this part of the scene. get focus here. You'll see what I'm looking at. So I really like the way the compression effect of this lens makes the mountains and the flat irons look much grander than they would otherwise with the 24 to 70 that I was just using. So this is my new composition. I actually think I'm in a little too tight. But we've got this one set of trees that I photographed just a moment ago. The cows grazing with the flat irons behind them. And I'm gonna zoom in, focus in right on these trees, making sure that everything's nice and sharp right there going to set at F10, ISO 100. Get this scene right here.
well, I'm not sure how much I really like this scene, but it's the first thing that I found interesting while hiking through this section of the woods. I really like how there's this one tiny little tree growing next to this bigger one, next to what's been a down tree for probably a few years, and then just the general shape and branches of this one to the right. So I've set up my composition focused in on primarily these two trees. They're the two that grab my attention immediately at least. But then following along with the story of restoration and regrowth, we have the down tree and the one small tiny baby tree next to it. And while going through this scene, I really tried to make sure that I was not having a ton of overlap between the tree trunks. So there's more depth to the image and also there is, um, there's just more of them as you look across the, the width of the scene. So if I zoom out, you can see, you know, I'm focused in primarily in this middle section, not worried so much about the top portion but if I zoom into about here, we really get the nice shape in this tree, the branches and shadows and shapes in this one, and then the dead tree and the young tree. So this is what I'm going to photograph for um, this part of the trail. Um, zoomed all the way in on my 24 to 70 to 70 millimeters going to stop down to f10 for as much depth of field as I can possibly get and I'm probably going to focus in on this dead tree since it's roughly in the middle of the scene. So right there focus in nice and sharp and I'm going to dial back the exposure just a little making sure that I'm not clipping anything. This is a fairly wide dynamic range scene. So I'm actually gonna take three different exposures to um, make sure I can capture all the detail in both the highlights and the shadows. And come back up for a normal exposure. even more probably around here so that I can pull the detail in these trees into the final image. So now I'm gonna just double check real quick, make sure that the trees are in focus and they are. So this looks nice and sharp pretty much across the entirety of the scene. So my main subjects are all in focus, which is the right tree, the left tree, the down tree, and the young tree, and the rest can be a little bit softer if it does end up being that way. It's not really critically important. I would say the background is still um, acceptably sharp. So even zoomed in all the way as far as the LCD screen will let me, the tree trunks in the back still have good definition in them. So let me know what you think down in the comments below.
Well, I'm not sure if it's even possible to be a landscape and nature photographer in 2023 if you don't stop to photograph something looking down in the dirt, particularly ice, rocks, mud, or a leaf of some sort. So <laughs> on my way out, I found this interesting scene of some ice that's formed in a footprint from all of the freezing and thawing that's been going on the last few days. So I'm gonna get my 100 to 400 out and focus in on these different ice crystals. And, um, and yeah, if I didn't tell you that it was in a footprint, I bet that nobody would have known. The sun's just starting to peak above some of the higher clouds, so we're getting a little bit more light on this patch of ice crystals, and uh, it's adding a little bit more texture and everything to it. So I think if I had seen this on the way in, I probably would not have got nearly as good of a photograph. So I'm gonna set that up and see how it looks. This is when I wish the 5DSR had a flip out screen. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure I'm right in position where I wanna be. Perfect. Manual focus right on the ice crystals. Zoomed all the way into 400 millimeters, filling the frame. And so based on the shape of a human foot, it's a little bit longer than it is wide. So I'm not sure if I'll end up cropping this because it doesn't quite fit the whole frame as you would expect. Zoom all the way in, manually focus right on the ice. I'm going to be at a very small aperture, so I'm going to set at f11. And with that, I think that will be my final image for this morning. I hope you enjoyed this morning's video and a big thank you to all of you that subscribe and help the channel continue to grow. Uh, I do want to wish all of you a very happy and healthy new year. And I hope that 2023 is the best year yet for each of you. So thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you around in the next one.